Hello, everybody. This is... This is... As I again, with another computer video. And... But today, it is going going to be on a... On a laptop from the mid-90s. This is a compact... LT... 5300... Series laptop. Now, I think... A Billy Core of of the YouTube channel Road Geek has done a video on this laptop, but he has not done a video of this laptop with the docking station. And of course, the 8-bit guy did a, a video about, um, about, about the best DOS gaming laptop. Now, the reason why I bought this laptop was because it also came with the, the, the docking station. I bought it at a, uh, thrift store for the price of, um, $25. Now we're gonna, and before we do the video about, before we take a look at the laptop, not, not, not take a look at the laptop, take a look at what I've installed on, on the laptop. Let's just first take a look at the laptop itself. This little lever. Press down. Or forward, and just, and it comes right out. Now let's take a look at the ports. We got a little lever for an expansion bay, and you can, and this would have had a floppy drive. Of course, I've got. Of course, I've basically. Originally, this laptop had its had a CD-ROM drive, and had its CD-ROM drive right here. But I've decided to stick the CD-ROM drive in the other bin. I'll show you how how to take those out. As well, there's the floppy drive, and I will need to replace that. So. Um, mic, volume control, and by the way, this, I think, has a built-in mono, mono mic, uh, PC, MCIA, I've installed the proper, um, the proper compact a net intelligence card, a little sliding door, audio ports, power for the laptop. If you don't want to plug it in it, into the docking station, do I do I find the docking station to be very convenient? PC, PS2, yeah, some. Or if I think, I don't know what that is. VGA. The docking station port. Parallel. Serial. Yeah, I would, if you wanted to use like both of them. Yeah, you couldn't use a keyboard with this laptop. Um, well, you can use an, an external, you can use a keyboard, but I don't think you can use, yeah, you can use a mouse too, so you probably just get an expansion key, cable, uh, a splitter cable. 
Yeah, not not that dissimilar to a modern PC. Now, if you want to remove the battery, there's this little latch here. It'll just pop right out. Well, so I'm just going to leave that in there. It's not like they ain't charged anyway. If you want to remove the, um, whatever is in here, you can do that. And this, this laptop I bought originally, I bought it with, with the, uh, with the 2 gigabyte hard drive. So, that's nice for a Windows 95 laptop, or a laptop. Of course, this laptop was running Windows NT, and I would assume the original Compact install. This is actually where, where this is actually where, where the hard drive would go, but, but whoever owned this laptop originally put the, the drive in this uh, caddy, I was using it over here. That's pretty cool. So, the way you would remove drives here, just press the button and you just pop it right out. You do the same with the floppy drive as well, but I'm not going to demonstrate that. You can see serial, the serial ports, obviously monitor, looks like a game port, um, internet stuff, ethernet sound stuff, keyboard mouse. So let let's 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 turn turn the machine on. Get either turn the machine on, but first let's take a look at the display and all that. Um self power button, so if you have it on, just press that. Yeah, this keyboard is not in the best of shape. It doesn't work on it well. This is a um, active matrix display. Uh, brightness control. Yeah, this is a really nice looking laptop. I've got the hard drive in, installed in the front because if I wanted to take this laptop with me like, without the docking station, I could. And I ought to do that. Close that. Plug it in. And one nice thing about this laptop thing is that I can plug a standard power um, plug thing in. Or the standard computer plug. Like, like this cable is a little touchy. Very careful. The way you turn it on by pressing this button. The way you turn it on when it when it's docked in the station. If you got everything else plugged in, so we're gonna just just. Set it up. Let's turn that on. Go into the system spec. You see it's on. I'm drive speaking. Now, now I did say that the floppy drive is busted.
So here is yep the hard drive is two hundred that's two hundred is a two point point two thousand one hundred and sixty seven megabyte. In other words it is a um in other words it is a um Quite a big hard drive. Um, Intel Pentium One. I haven't updated updated the uh, BIOS. Eight hundred by six hundred display. Um, serial port. Let's see what we got here. Um, some options. Yeah, the video is seeing some weird stuff. I can restore factory. Yep, I've installed Windows 995. Um, I'm running the RTM stock installation of an RTM stock install of 95. It seems like this is being played stuff. Hey, yeah. Nope. Oh. I don't know how to get that to work. I thought we'd take a look at Pentium. And I've updated this to um, Service Pack um, 1. This is an ESS, um, ES-1688, let's probably try it placing me music, oh, that playing monitor is starting to do some And you can, you can, and, and you can basically see that I do not have, um, the, um, I do not have, um, the active desktop up here. So, yeah, I will. Maybe play some Bach. Or... out of one
so let's, let's just load some, um, load, load some more DOS games. Shall we? Yeah. If I can get Duke, Duke 3D, let's see if I can get Duke, Duke, Duke Nukem to work. I haven't been able to get it to work in DOS mode. But it just doesn't seem to want to work. sound test so I might have to play around with that at some point. Let's boot into um, DOS mode. And we're gonna have to load the sound drivers manually. load the ESS audio drivers. But these games do load. Well, most of them do load in Windows anyway, so let's do Um, Monkey Island?
By the way, I've never played this. This is a, a point and click adventure game, by the way. If you're not familiar with, um, if you're not familiar with, um, yeah, this is restart the computer and load another game. Here's a game that you people, if you've been on my channel, might recognize. If you've been on my channel long enough. Yep, the original Doom. I mean, it also routes the PC speaker through the actual computers. Cool. It's actually displaying a lot better. I'll probably show you how, how the LCD display looks at the end of, of the video. But I just want to show how the system works, how well it runs.
Dry flesh consume or knee deep in the dead. Everyone does it. Maybe another one.
for the all 64 of this. Uh, I suck at this game. Maybe we can just try, yeah, uh, yeah, before I end the video, let's probably play, um, one more game. This is an example of a game that will not run on a machine like this computer because this this computer runs a Pentium 3 and later versions of the Pentium 2 and Pentium 3 processors have problem running some of these old DOS games. So this is show a game that would normally not run on here. Or maybe wait a minute. Because there is a game that I would love to run on here. Maybe not. But this is the game that I'm talking about. And has a problem running. On modern systems of the late 90s.
basically the same thing as Monkey Island. And I believe that's all I'm going to show. In terms of like, how well the system runs. Maybe you run the original, should have ran the original release of Doom from back in like 1993. That would have been a perfect example of showing how buddy smooth the system And maybe I'll just show you how the games look. Or at least show you how well the game looks. And the LCD is not too bad, not too shabby. It's got one dead pixel, you can see it on camera. Pixel Hollywood. Yeah. Beep you too! Let's probably load um, the game again. audio to play out of both speakers fine. It's took me a while to figure that out.
Yeah, I thought, I thought I would basically show one more video, but I'd be running it on, on a display, but this time on a LCD that I just found in my closet. And I've never used this monitor before, so, so, this is my very first time using this monitor. Look at that picture quality, if you can tell the difference. It's amazing. I mean, it, it looks much, much better when you're using a LCD display on I, mean, I highly recommend. I highly recommend using an LCD display if you get one of these laptops, by the way. Thank <laughs> you. 